Good evening, Entropians. Julian McBain here, and as you can see, we are currently on Monria. It is St. Patrick's Day. Looks like there are plenty of people celebrating. I refuse to wear the Lalu Row pants that they gave us for it. Hang on, let me show you what they look like. Here it is. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, bugger. I accidentally put them on. Um, oh, apparently they are put on in addition to the other pants. That's a little weird. Um, so I came out here. I actually didn't come out here specifically for the St. Patrick's Day event. That just happened to be a, a coincidence that it coincided with the particular time period. But, you know, this is Monria. And that, that is a Shoggoth. But we are going to go a little bit further out before we start fighting. So, I had seen uh, the Delusionist's video on Monria. So I came here. I wanted to see what it was all about. So, I did do some of the, the missions. So I'm not going to go through like the, the beginner mission chain because I don't know that it really fits the way that some of the other planets do. And I think it's because it's only accessible by Monria-born people who start the their life in Entropia Universe on Monria, which is fine. It totally makes sense. Kind of a shame, but it is what it is. But, no, that's... These guys are like beginner... I think they're beginner. Yeah, these are the beginner mobs. Kind of like peonies. Um, but, yeah, no, it makes, it makes a certain sense, so I can appreciate that. It just means I'm not going to be able to record them, which is unfortunate. But the main reason I didn't really get into the other missions on video is is kind of twofold one upon further inspection because i always kind of check to see what it's going to look like is it going to be worthwhile and the missions themselves are definitely worthwhile and monria has a fantastic storyline writing to it just just from what i've seen so far and i've only been here for like a day but on top of that um, the, the negative side of things, Monria does have lag issues, or at least it's currently having lag issues. Now, that might be related to the St. Patrick's Day event. There just might be so many players here relative to the amount of memory that Monria has allocated that it can't quite keep up. Which, okay, fine, fair enough. Uh, I will say this, the graphics on Monria are extremely tight. It does use a lot of stock graphics from Calypso because um, the Monria team, the current Monria team, is not a true planet partner. From what I understand, I went on to their forum. It's it's being run by, I think it's four or five players who put a lot of work and effort into it. They do a fantastic job. Um, so I want to put that out there. I am not, by any stretch of the imagination, I am not downing Monria or the Monria team. They have done a great job. Especially since, from, from from what I gather, and if, you know, someone drop a comment and correct me if I'm wrong. Especially if you happen to be a member of the Monria team, uh, or one of their volunteers. What happened was the original planet partner backed out, Mindark took over, and then this team of players offered to take over administration of the planet. So they have, they don't have as many... I don't think they have as many rights per se as a planet partner because a planet partner has a lot of appears to have a lot of uh, leeway with what they do, but at the same time they don't have as many as much liability, or at least that's that's from what I have read. And again, I could be totally off about that, um, but what they have done with this is fantastic, and they've actually started like a whole perk program for Monria. Um, so like if you're Monrian born. Or if you own an apartment on Monria, you get like free transport back and forth from Monria. Which I think is really cool that they have a whole ship dedicated to that. It's called the Yamato. I think it's a Pathfinder class, but it might be a mothership. Alright, it's parked right in orbit. And so if you've never been to Monria before, you can't approach the planet like you do other planets. And that threw me because I bounced off the server wall a couple times with a passenger, which was embarrassing, um, before I managed to figure it out. Because I was, you know, I got a little irritated. I'm like, okay, fine. It's going to cost me seven ped. That's not really fair, but whatever. I want to see this. 
and come to find out Monria works a lot like, say, FOMA, uh, also known as Club Never Die, or uh, Crystal Palace, where it's, it's quote-unquote an interior location. Uh, it's an interior location that you can spawn vehicles, so I can, like, drop my sleep near here, but, um, but they don't charge you to go back and forth from the space station, so that was really nice to see. And under the circumstances, I'm really glad that uh, Mindark and the Monria team were able to arrange for that. Because that, that would be a serious discouragement to players coming to Monria if it was mandatory to pay the fee. Kind of like that's why Space had some issues before Mindark got rid of the fee for atmospheric interface last year. Even though the fee was only like 2 ped. You know, 2 ped for a free-to-play player is a lot of money. So, you know, but currently my overall assessment of Monria is good. Whoa, these guys are hyper aggressive. Um, it's it's based on the Cthulhu horror mythos, the Lovecraftian mythos, and they have nailed it. I mean, just looking at these Shoggoths, which kind of remind me of the things in Skullomance from World of Warcraft. Um, if my buddy Matt was here, he'd probably be making jokes about eating breakfast. That's the thing that happened. Um, they have just done an outstanding job. The graphics are tight, especially considering the age of the game. And I don't know when Monria first came out. And they've just done a graphical refresh on a lot of them to make the, the graphics even better. So they're, they are actively improving upon Monria. As you can see, though, there is this, this is the lag issue I was talking about. Um... Currently, as you can see, I'm working on the Kill Shoggoth. So, the missions that I'm working on now are the um, d Sex Shoggoth Solemn. Hang on. This one here. I have to kill 500 of these guys. It's basically... Really? Um, it's basically the Iron Mission. And I'm also doing this Toy Soldier. So apparently you get a, a toy soldier if you kill enough of these guys. Ah, there, I'm finally, oh, looks like my uh, amp ran out. Hang on. Unequip. Detach. Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. Reattach the scope. There we go. So, did that Rubio come off this guy, or did I forget to drop it? I don't remember having that Rubio. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. If I get another Rubio, I'll know. Um, but anyway, they've just, they've done a fantastic job. There's a lot of, it looks like there's a lot of player support, and it looks like they've got a good community here. So, in my, uh... Initial assessment of Monria, I would have to say it's overall good. Now, something I want to point out, this is one crater, and currently I'm kind of locked to that crater. I can't figure, I found a cave that I thought would lead me away, and it ended up being a giant wall. So that's fun. Um, but that doesn't mean that there's not other places that you can get out I'm of this crater. I just haven't found them yet. And so, I'm pretty sure that the three craters are all usable, and I think you can get up here. I don't know for sure. As you can see, there's that energy field up above. If you reach the edge of the crater walls or close to it, it is a no-fly zone, no-vehicle zone. So, I'm curious as to whether you have to complete certain missions to get through there, or if they have, like, you, you acquire the teleporter for accomplishing certain things. We are going to try to fight our way to the cultists. There's a group of cultists up in this rock formation, up by the road that I followed to get to a cave that was actually completely collapsed, which I, it makes me wonder, you know, do you have to complete missions and clear out those areas? But I haven't stood there long enough to watch a player try to get through. And I'm not sure if the Entropia platform allows for missions such as that. So we're going to fight our way through these Shoggoths, and if we have the time, we're going to fight a couple of cultists. 
course, if I was really smart, I'd probably just jump into my hover pod, which in this case is probably is actually a far more advantageous than using my sleep near. If only because on a planet like Calypso, in fact, on most planets, it was extremely useful on Cyrene, extremely useful on Arcadia. Um, you can't use it on Toulon, of course. You can't use any vehicles on Toulon, which I, I honestly think is detrimental to Toulon. But I think that because of the size of Monria, having good grief having a flying vehicle isn't as advantageous as it is on a bigger planet. Because, I mean, you just have to cross the crater, and honestly, you can walk across the crater in a reasonable amount of time. Go ahead. Listen to them. Are they, like, throwing up on us? That's disgusting. Hilarious, but disgusting. Okay, good. Oh, there's another person hunting out here. Okay. That explains why there's so many combat sounds. I'm like, there's only one of me. Who's that? Shout out to Kai, recruit of the Lost Renegades. Looks like she's, is she hunting? That's an interesting looking gun. That actually looks kind of like one of the designs from Toulon. Anyway, um, so unlike like Toulon and Cyrene and Arcadia, Monria does use the stock Calypsian um, trade goods, so like the the Anixio you can buy here and the Castirian end blades and things like that. That's all available standard, as opposed to say, you know, unique weapons, which is kind of a shame. But you know what? It happens. Not a big deal, and it's a lot of pressure taken off of the Monria team. To generate those graphics. I, I'm willing to bet that given enough time, the Monria team will probably come up with more unique equipment. But, you know, unique equipment, graphic artists are not cheap, and it's a lot of work. And so I don't blame them for using the stock items when I don't even know if they're getting paid. Maybe they get a I would hope they get a percentage. Um, but if they turn, in, turn out to be volunteers, then hats off to what they've accomplished. Hats off, even if they get paid, but I mean, seriously, if, if they're doing this as a labor of love, okay, we're going to use the hover pod. Um, anyway, hats off to what they've accomplished, irregardless, but at the same time, if they're doing it for free, even more so. Because the amount of work it must take to manage this place, let alone continue to create content for it is just an enormous undertaking for four people, four or five people. Okay, this is where I found the cultists. I just want to kind of explore the, the cultist area with you. I came up here hunting. These guys are a bit higher level, so we're going to use the sword. And we should be able to... There we go. Yeah, these guys are level 11. They also use magic spells, so I think they use... They, they're, they're going up against your dodge skill, not your evade skill. So just keep that in mind when you're fighting these guys. The Shoggoths, of course, they're, they're up against your evade skill, so... For animal hunters from Calypso or other planets, the Shoggoths aren't going to be a huge deal because your evade skill is going to be able to compensate, but... These guys are good for, I would, uh, whoa, global, 27 and a half ped. Awesome. That's a lot of animal thyroid oil. Wow. Um, hey, that puts me on the chart for the possible apartment. I think it's like lowest, lowest recorded global, I think is there. It's one of the uh, uh, options for the award. Hey, maybe I'll get lucky. Doubt it, <laughs> but that would be kind of cool. So, um, no, I want my loot. I can't even click on. Oh, that sucks. 
He fell into the world geometry, and now I can't collect my loot. That bites. I I'm not going to bitch too much, though, because I just got a global. But anyway... I think I'm going to be spending some time here on Monria because this is a great place to level dodge. I swear to God, if he fell through the world geometry... It did. I just got screwed out of two sets of loot. That's, that's not even right. Like, come on. Really? I'm going to have to submit a bug report. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's one. Okay, good. It looks like I collected both of them. We'll find out. That's one. I'm going to try to move this guy off the hill. They appear to be rather short-ranged. There we go. So, you know, these guys aren't joking around. They can definitely hit. Some unique Shoggoth skin. The rest of this is pretty standard. So no surprises there. I'm going to try one more time to see if I can't trick this particular... There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on. Ha! Got it. I had, like, a pixel I could click on. So, yeah, these are the cultists in question. And I, of course, have a, a DSEC mission to kill them. The Creative Cthulhu one. I also have to find, like, four books around Monaria, so that's interesting. So there's there's definitely some cool uh, storyline threads, and then there, here's the cave that I found first, and the first thing you say when you walk in is you notice that the whole bloody thing is collapsed. So, I mean, what, there's, there's no way we're getting through here, at least not at the time being. I don't know if this is, like, planned future content or if it just happened to be part of a storyline. Um... I, oh, I got stuck on the do not enter sign. Closed for repairs. <laughs> I do know there are a number of instances here on Monria. So I am planning on finding them, and I will do videos on those. Now, you guys know how much I love doing instances, especially, on, you know, I've, I've looked for them on Calypso. So I found a few. There's one that I knew I have to do up in the... Um, on top of the big mountain there, the volcano, whose name is evading me at the time for the time being. There is a rather involved quest chain to get that unlocked. I will cover it at some point. But for now, I think I'm gonna spend I don't know how long I'm gonna be here on Monria, but I plan I don't plan on leaving like right like Tulon. i I did enough content on Tulon for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks, but I did the whole thing in like three days. And it's not because I was unimpressed with the planet itself, it's because I got very frustrated with having to walk everywhere. I do want to go back there and do more content there, but I'm going to bring a teleport ship with me, because... Running around on foot after having access to a vehicle really sucks. You get spoiled to, you know, hover pods and cars and sleep mirrors really quickly. I'm pretty sure those are the Cthulhu Towers, and I, I, I always kind of wasn't sure whether I would be willing to take an apartment off of um, one of the two major planets, and by two major, the two most active planets, which are Calypso and Arcadia, of course, because uh, I do know that there are apartments here. I believe there are apartments on Rock. I, I'm, I'm positive there are apartments on Rocktropia. That's a bit of a cliff, um, but I was always kind of unenthusiastic but just from the experience I've had in Monria in the last two days I'd be willing to think about burying Cthulhuites in rock apparently there's some collision detection issues in this area oh shit I wasn't paying attention yup I'll use HDNA Although considering where I am, it would be interesting if I ended up on the wrong in the wrong crater from the um, for the revive terminal. Let's 
This guy's gonna be like, wait a second, I just killed you, what the hell? He's already like, what the hell? I think I've got another one on me too. Nope, so he's close, but he's not there. You know, what, let me see if we can clip into this rock. If, if we have collision, there's an issue. Nope, there is a total collision detection issue there. You can see underneath the wireframes here, the grass. Yeah, there's a there's a that that rock has no collision associated with it, which is a problem. So I'll definitely submit that bug report. Where is the thing that's attacking me? So it, it, it's there. We go. That's, I'm gonna grab my notebook here and just write that down. I'll report that to the Monria team. After we kill this guy, of course. So this whole area has some collision issues, but this rock in particular is problematic. Because like I can sink myself entirely in the rock. So we are going to go... There was a way to... Current location. Okay, so three seven four seven five mark two zero three six four mark one one five on Monria. Okay, I can report that now. It's approximate, but it's close enough. If they want, I can always come out here with them and show them the exact location. Nope. Ah, bugger. Speaking of which, I need to make sure I'm like in the, the Monria chat. Uh, no, I don't want to recall it. I'll figure that out later, fine. I want to make sure I'm in Monria chat because I think there's a lot of opportunity to talk with the folks because as far as I can tell, they're actually on quite frequently. I don't know if this is their full-time job or not, but it's really cool to be able to interact with the developers. Uh, I honestly think it's really important to the players to be able to do that. And I'm, I'm not talking in the in the trolley sense. That's, that's you know... As, as a whole, the gaming community needs to give developers a lot more credit. We do tend to be a lot harsher on the people who make the things we love than is they really have, you know... As a group, as a, as a demographic, we tend to be a lot harsher on the creators of the things we love than other groups. Like, people who consume cable television don't criticize the shows that they watch nearly as much as we do the games that we play. And so, you know, that's, that's kind of something we should all kind of reflect upon, I think, as a, as a community. And so, you know, we do treat these developers rather harshly. It takes a lot of work, a lot of heart and soul to do this. So we should be a bit nicer to them. So, okay, we're going to finish off this cultist. Awesome. Oh, that's okay. We're going to spawn the hover pod. I hope. This is the delay I was telling you about. There it is. And we are going to hover pod back to a base. I haven't, like, explored this whole crater yet either. So maybe in the next video, we'll just explore the crater and see what's out there. I'm pretty sure there's, like, three or four caves. You got, like, ten billion Shoggoths. There's got to be more critters out there than that. Holy buckets. We are... Oh, this could be... I'm glad we're not walking. We're going to get chased by a whole bunch of shit. We're going to, like, train these guys. That's not good. Oh, that one's level six. He's fast, too. Does he tether? Do these guys tether? I don't know that I've met anything in Entropia Universe that actually tethers. He's still on us. Oh, he's attacking us. He can hit us from where he is. He's big and ugly. Come on. Okay. 
Sorry, big and ugly. I'm sick of you hitting my hover pod. Eldritch the Pestilent. It doesn't hit me very hard. It's just like a giant, bloody... Shoggoth. That's all he is. A lot of hit points, though. I bet he's like a uh, mission mob or something like that. Go kill Eldritch the Pestilent. I mean, he's he's a level 6 amongst a bunch of level 2s. He's probably a, uh, a low-level boss. Didn't really like spending that much money on killing that one mob, but you know what? Screw it. Pick up my hover pod, which is actually suffering quite a bit of damage. Which is fine, because it just means I have to repair it. Whatever. Get back to the safety of our cave. There it is. I'm going to go down a cliff, aren't I? Oh, nope. Good. There's a little bit of a slope. Okay, so we're behind safety of the gun turrets. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope that this, uh, you know, first looks, first impressions of Monria was helpful. Um, sorry, it wasn't like a quest walkthrough or anything like that. But in this case, I think that it, this was the better route. Um, I do plan on being here for a little bit. There are some missions I want to finish. I want to explore this moon uh, a little bit more in depth. Prob uh, mostly because I love the horror aspect of it i'm very much into the horror aspect of things so thank you for watching thank you for listening please like share and subscribe down below please make sure you check out my website at www.mcbainmanor.com for my blog some um, entropia universe short stories of which i am already working on a third one and of course you can pick up ghosts of the past digitally for free guys i really appreciate all the support you all have a wonderful night